Now we're going to look at how we attach our spoil board. So this front face has been machined to exactly 90 degrees, so you can always be confident you're at 90 degrees, no matter where you mount your clamping face. So there's three locations here. We can mount it flush with the top. So that's just ever so slightly below your tape plane. But if you need to cut and you're gonna intersect with this aluminum, there's two different options. We can lower it down to the 25 millimeter height and that's a spoil board that will fit behind there. Or we can go down one more to the 50 millimeter height. And we have a spoil board that will fit there. The spoil boards are made of nice MDF, 25 millimeter and 50 millimeter. We ship with two of each. They're user replaceable. You can make your own. We include the dimensions in the manual. The spoil board prevents your stock from chipping out as the cutter passes out the backside of the material. It also provides space for the cutter to travel without colliding with the aluminium body or clamping face. So you'll notice there's a gap behind our spoil board here. So I'm going to tension this with these little cams. You'll see how it comes out and applies pressure from behind the spoil board. So we can use the hex wrench here again. This is to accommodate various thicknesses of ply and the amount of pressure you want behind the object you're clamping on the front surface.